Hi everybody, we're going to hit two birds with one stone with this video. Um, the new 1.12 DAISY um, original files, the XML files for modding, are available now on Bohemia Interactive's GitHub, and I'll put a link down below. So you can download them. So you've got the, the original XMLs, the vanilla 112 XMLs, so you can start modding them, you know, open them up in Notepad and start playing around with them. Um, also, if um, you've got a PC server on Nitrado, this, as far as I'm aware, is is the way that you update your XMLs. Because when you open up your uh, DAISY server on Nitrado, your PC one anyway, there's no option to reset the XMLs. So when you actually have a look at the dashboard for your PC DAISY server, you'll see that the game has been updated April 20th, 2021 for 112 yesterday time I'm recording this video but your XMLs will still be 111 so what you need to do if you haven't done this already is you go to Bohemia Interactive's github again there'll be a description uh, link in the description below the video go to the daisy central economy download the code as a zip so download zip and that will give you all of the files you need um, unpack them on your hard drive in an appropriate area and you'll end up with this folder daisy central economy master and you go into that and you've got Chernerus for Chernerus, and you've got enoch for livonia and when you go into here you'll see you've got all the files that are there for your server to update so what you then need to do is get these files up onto your server now i won't cover it in depth here but what you're going to be using is an ftp program like filezilla this is the way to do it um, you will connect to your DAISY uh, server. You will find the um, let's have a look, 112 vanilla f uh, files on your computer. Um, and then you will upload them um, over the top of your existing file. So there we go, DAISY uh, offline Chernerus Plus. So what I would do is I would find the MP missions. There we go, there they are. And basically I would upload um, that folder there into the MP missions uh, folder on the remote server and that would up upload that would update all the XML to 112 just obviously be very aware that that will override any mods you've done on your 111 files so all that editing you know will disappear so it's very important you keep your 111 files backed up so you can use them as a reference so that you can then start modding your 112 files um, and I always recommend to people I know it takes longer to start from scratch with the fresh 112 files but the beauty of doing that and not just adding the items that they've added into 112 into your 11 files is this then enables you to um, take advantage of um, weapon balance changes loot balance changes that they'll have introduced into the XML for 112 so for example 112 they've introduced a lot more food but that food is also spread ar out around the loot areas and the middle of the map rather than being in the in the northwest. Um, and they do these, these little changes and they change amounts of things. So again, I know it takes longer, but I would always say start with the vanilla 112 and then add your extras in, the, the mods you like to make to your XML files and start from there rather than having 111 files or 110 files or 109 files or 108 files that you've been adding all of their bits into. Anyway, there we go. So that, my friends, is how you get hold of the DAISY vanilla files. Go to Bohemia Interactive GitHub, and that is how you update your Nitrado DAISY PC server to have the latest XMLs. Okay, hopefully that's useful. If it has been, hit like if you want to see more of the same, press subscribe, and I will, of course, see you again soon.